Hey, c -Max here. We're going to talk about bore lights. So, first of all, um, what is a bore light? Well, what is a bore? The bore is the name, what we call the inside of the barrel. The chamber is the side where the cartridge goes in, the muzzle is the very end of it. The inside is considered the bore. So, a bore light is to light up the inside of a barrel. Well, why do you need to do that? Well, you need to be able to inspect it, see if it's clean, see if there's lead, see if there's rust, damage, lots of reasons. Um, there are buku different types of them, but basically it is a light source and usually with a way to get it bent into a gun that has no access. Now, you know, obviously on an automatic pistol, you can take the barrel out and you can just look at it against the wall. You really don't need a bore light. But you've got revolvers, you have rifles, you, know, you, you have shotguns. Yeah, you can take the barrel off the shotgun, do the same thing, look at it up against the wall. But you may not want to break the shotgun down. So, hence the bore lights. And they're very, they go from the very basic to the very extravagant. Uh, some of them are just a long piece of the acrylic here. It kind of makes like a fiber optic that you stick in the receiver, and this part of it gathers light, bends it around, puts it down the barrel. And you need different light intensity. Uh, if you have a short barrel, this bright light here, this happens to be a very bright one. Doesn't look like it, but it is. When you get it in the barrel, it, it tends to, you know, like too much of a flash, it tends to blind you on a short barrel. But if you have a long, small caliber barrel, like a 22, it would work better on it. On other ones, lower intensity light actually lights it up and gives you a better visual inspection of the barrel. So there's a combination of diameter of the bore or caliber size and then length of the barrel uh, to inspect you know and i have used two different powered lights to look at two different sections of the barrel so and then sometimes you flip it around and light it from the other end and inspect this end it just depends i'm gonna set up the vise and uh, you know show you some different kind of uh lighting situations of what I was talking about. So you're probably going, well, first of all, here's some of the, the other types that you can get. They're, they're basically the same, but some are fancy. You don't need to overpay for these things uh, without a doubt. Well, you're probably going, and here comes the air conditioner again. You're probably going, hey, C-Max, you mean I got to go buy something? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's usually all kinds of alternatives. Uh, that's one thing we really strive for here at C-Max Arms is low-cost alternatives to everything. So I'm going to cut away and set up and we'll look at the other options. Okay, we're back. Uh, I grabbed the uh, Glock 41. Uh, because it's 45 ACP, so it's got a big bore, easier to see for the video. Um, if you haven't seen my Glock 41 video, just check in the playlist and the gun reviews and check it out. All right, we're going to just use the very first one I should have shown you. Well, actually, let's use the right one. And as you can see, this light is very bright makes it a little bit more difficult to really look at it now if the, if the bore was smaller narrower it would be overwhelming and you really couldn't see the rifling but this one has its place as well uh, like i was saying at different links now this one is a much lower intensity and you can actually inspect it better with the lower light as you can see there And it really helps you out.
Now you're going, well, hey, C-Max, I don't have one, so you know, what do I do then? Okay, one option you can do is just take a flashlight and just kind of try to shine it up in there. Sometimes you can make it work. Sometimes it'll reflect into it. You just have to try it, different, different lights you may have. Um, you may be going, well, see, Max, I don't have any flashlights. Okay. There are other options you can do. I uh, looked around and started thinking about, okay, well, what would I do if I didn't have any lights or any bore lights? Well, the first thing I did is I grabbed a dowel and just painted the end of it white. So you just stick it in. Now, what you have to do, the trick to this is, though, you have to reflect light off of it to reflect into the, the bore. So it's, see how you can do that? And then the second thing I thought about was, well, hey, popsicle stick. So you can see how that'll reflect in and light up the bore as well. And more narrow popsicle stick with white painted on the end of it. Any kind of white paint will work. It's very reflective of the light. So you can do that. Or you can get a lamp and shine into it to reflect the light up. Okay, well, you go, you don't have any of that. Well, hey, see, Max, you know, I don't have that. What do I do now? Okay, just get a piece of paper and just shine some light onto it, and that'll work. And so now you go, well, what if I don't have anything? What if I'm at the gun store and I want to look at a used gun and I don't have anything. Well, one thing you can do, and this can test the character of your local gun shop, ask them if they have a bore light. Nine times out of ten, they're going to tell you no, because they don't want you really looking in the bore. And if you've ever looked at a used gun, it just blows me away of how dirty they usually are. But to do like dear old dad used to do, you stick your fingernail in it. Stick your fingernail in, get a light source on it. Usually sunlight is what works best with a fingernail, but you can reflect it off the fingernail. So you've got many, many, many different options, you know, to do with it. Um, if anybody's got any other ideas, uh, please let me know, post them, because it's, uh, you know, it's important to look in the inside of your barrel. Now, another thing, let me back out on it a little bit now. There we go. Another thing, sometimes you can just buy the head units of it. And I've got one here. This actually came off another one. But then you can take one of these flashlights. It's a real common now. They're giving away as promotional stuff. And it fits in there just perfect. And there you go. Same thing. Rifles are the hardest ones to look at because they're so long barreled typically. Guns aren't, I mean, uh, handguns aren't usually that bad. Um, but that's going to do it for this. Uh, oh, want to do a shout out. Uh, Gun Collector 007. He's a, a buddy of mine. has got a YouTube channel. Go over there and check him out. But uh, he did a thing on, on neck knives where you've got a knife and you hang it around your neck. That's what it's designed for. That's the reason for the, the cord here. And you just pull it out, and so it's supposed to be, you know, real easy to deploy. This one, you know, I thought, I don't even remember where I got this. I've had it for a long time. It's just kind of cool. Uh, would definitely do a number on you, but uh, he does, he's got a video on neck knives, and uh, I had commented and I told him I would show him on that. So go over there and check him out. All right. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for Bore Lights. If you have any questions, comments, please email me. Uh, I get it direct. I don't always get notified when the comment is left. Please like and subscribe. Contest coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.